In my last video, you saw us arrive at East Fork Stables in Jamestown, Tennessee. We brought four horses glamping and we have a cabin and private stable and we are getting ready to hit the trails. Cannot wait to show you when we wake up in the morning and head out. Okay, so it is the next morning and we're getting ready to hit the trail. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. Everyone's tacked up and we're getting ready to go. So today I have Jafar, Arlo, Gaston, and Miko, and I have my student Patrick and my best friend Alex and then my husband Kyle. We're getting ready to go. Well, it might be like sandstone. Hey, like I said, you got to shorten your rein because he's going to turn around, but you don't listen. Reins are too long. Shorten your reins and squeeze forward. Once he's in, he's fine, but you have to shorten your reins and squeeze forward. Ho. All right, so we just got on the trails. We had a little bit of a rough start. It was super muddy with rock and then Gaston didn't want to go through the creek but we walked him through it because it was super narrow the one I just walked Jafar through and now we're good all right so we are about a mile out on the trail everyone's doing great so Gaston just in the beginning like the first creek he crosses he's just kind of unsure and then after that he's great so Kyle is a really good rider but he's still novice and still trying to figure it out but yeah it was, it was just funny so yeah it is absolutely gorgeous here so today we're gonna do about 16 miles this is more of like an easy loop. And then in the next video, we're gonna be doing a rigorous trail up in the mountains. We are still gonna cover some steep areas and some beautiful overlooks. But yeah, I'm so excited. Jafar is doing really well. He's looking at things, but he's listening. He's being a really good boy and responding excellently. So I'm so happy. Which way are we going? Catfish pond. The terrain on this trail varies. It varies from sand to rock to mud, grass, all different types. There are some spots that are flat and easy. There's other parts that are pure rock and it's really slick and it can be a little bit tricky, but all the horses are handling really well. There's a bunch of creek crossings as well. We ended up crossing about 10 creeks on this trail alone. So as you can see here, this is like pure rock and it's wet, so you have to be careful. Kyle dismounted just to be safe. But yeah, Jafar's handling really well and responding and really thinking about where he's placing his feet, which is huge. That's what you want in a trail horse. So I'm really up. proud of him. But yeah, we are having a blast. It's a cooler day. It's like 70 degrees, super wonderful out. I'm just so happy to be out on the trail and camping. It's fantastic. We're opening up to some fields and we'll do a little bit of hacking as well. And honestly, I'm just so impressed with Jafar for how young he is. He's doing so phenomenal and I'm having a lot of fun on him. Everyone's doing wonderful. So many people ask me what my favorite discipline is and what it really comes down to is I just love being out on the trails with my horse out in nature. This is where I feel the most alive. This is where I feel the most connected to my horses and just nature in general. Oh. This is where it's at. I love to explore new places. Everyone's I love back. to hack out. I love to gallop. Okay. It is so much fun. Everything else is fun too. The jumping, the arena work. I love it all, but this is it. So I hope you enjoy. Jafar also seems to just really love the trails. This is where he seems to be most comfortable too. I mean, he'll do anything, but he is doing so well. This is also new for him and he's so happy. And Arlo and Miko are doing fantastic too with Patrick and Alex. So proud of everyone. Oh. The ball went slow. Slow. Kyle. So of course we're having a blast, but this is also something where I'm having to focus because I'm riding Jafar and he just turned six. So of course any horse that's that age is going to be green, especially with some of the terrain we're doing. So I'm also training and I'm also having to make sure to manage everyone else. Alex is a really good rider. She's experienced, so I don't have to worry about her and Miko. But you know, Patrick, this is one of his first big camping trips with horses. And then Kyle has done a lot of camping with me, but again, still novice. So I'm still having to kind of coach and train at the same time, but I always am wearing multiple hats, so I'm used to it. <laughs> but it's like a really fun way to do things too. Also horse lovers, don't forget to like and comment if you're enjoying this video so far. I love taking you on adventures with me. You gonna jump it? Good bull.
Yes. Oh. We're going. <laughs> oh, okay. I have no reins. Hold on. All right, I've got reins. Okay, so we're gonna hack through this meadow for a little bit longer and then we'll be back in the woods and almost to the overlook. He's doing so, they're all doing so good. Trying. We're trying. I know the buggies. So right now our goal is to get to the big overlook, Jane's Bend. It's super gorgeous or it looks like it. So we're super excited to get there, get some pictures with the horses, look at the views and check everything out. And of course you'll get to see too since you're riding along with us. We're all having so much fun on the first day of the trip. I really hope that you're enjoying the experience as well. And I can't wait to show you everything that we do and all the sights we see. They're absolutely spectacular and there's so many really cool spots on the trail. Wow. Okay, we made it to the overlook. I'm gonna walk too far to the edge. It is way scarier in real life. Like if you look at it and you look down, it's just insane. And Jafar is like, wait, we're walking towards that? What? He's so funny. It's honestly amazing how much horses will do for you and how far they'll go. It's spectacular. And I can't even describe the emotion that I feel being with my horse, looking at these views. It's absolutely spectacular. When you look out over the edge and look beyond the trees and up in the sky and into the mountains, it puts into perspective just how small we truly are and it really does humble you. What's important to me is the connection between my horse and nature. Okay, so me and Jafar are at the Jane Bend Overlook. It's super cool, it's really pretty. They even have warning signs that say there's no railing, high bluff. Jafar's doing awesome. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> He's eating some grass. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous in Tennessee. Hope you're enjoying everything. Okay, so now we're gonna let the horses take a little break. We're gonna drink some water and just rest for a little while. Then I'm gonna let the horses graze because that's very important. They need to have something in their gut, especially when we're doing a lot of miles. That is something that's really important to me and they love it as you can see. Those hammock sleeping people. Now we're going down a decline. So it's really important that you sit a little bit back Stop in the it. saddle. You don't wanna lean back, but you wanna Good position boy. your core and your seat more stable farther to the back of the saddle so that the horse has some stability while going downhill, especially in this kind of area where it's really rocky and steep and they really Good need job. their footing. Slow walk. Whee! Good boy. And then when you're going uphill, you wanna get into your two point position. This frees up the horse's shoulders and allows them to work up the hill. Very important as well, and it really just saves the horse some energy, especially when you're doing long miles, steep terrain, rocky parts, so on and so forth. Slow it. Straight up rock. I also want to go over a couple things that you should bring out on the trail. So we have a few saddlebags with us today. We have water. You wanna make sure that you have a knife on you, some snacks, maybe like a flashlight, just in case you were to get lost if you're gonna be out for a really long time and didn't know the trails well. But those are just the basic things. Maybe a little bit of twine um, in case something breaks or a hoof pick in case the horse gets something stuck in their hoof. Those are just like the bare minimum things. Slow, slow, good boy, smart boy, smart boy. Good boy. <laughs> you looking over there?
That's cool. That's freaking amazing. I am definitely in my happy place. Look at these incredible views. Absolutely breathtaking. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so now we are about three fourths of the way on the 16 mile trail. Everyone's doing great. <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay, so where are we going now? Good. What a good boy. But now what he's going to try to do is turn back this way the second he puts his head up. So shorten your, when he's done, shorten your reins up and push him forward. And I'd probably go to the right. Slow. Oh. So right here, he's thinking about jumping it, but it's wet rock. So I'm telling him, walk slow. Good boy. Good job. You're lucky he's sure-footed. That's like absolutely freaking insane. <laughs> All right, we are on the home stretch hacking out and we are getting closer to the cabin. The horses all do great with the tricky spots. Super proud of them. They are phenomenal. Gaston honestly did a really amazing job leading today. It's a big job to lead on this mountain trail. So I'm super proud of him and I'm proud of Miko, Arlo, Alex, and Patrick too. And obviously Jafar, cause he's my little baby. But yeah, it's super beautiful. I like that there was tons of water on this trail for the horses to drink. And again, this one was more moderate. Tomorrow we're doing a rigorous trail, which I'll be posting that video next. The next video will have day two and day three combined of our trail riding. And now we're walking back into camp. So we untacked the horses. We're sponging them down to cool them off a little bit. It wasn't that hot of a day, but we want to just get all that sweat off. We're going to get them settled, get them all their hay and water, let them relax for the rest of the day. And everything was so amazing. They all look like they're in great shape. Jafar still had plenty of energy, which was really good. He's young and full of it, and it was so much fun. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this day of trail riding and I cannot wait to show you the next two days. It was so fun. We're gonna settle in for the night and get some rest. Alex is sleeping in her hammock. <laughs> she does have the choice to sleep inside, but she wants to be out in nature, which is fantastic. So yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, horse lovers, I will see you in the next video for our two combined days of trail riding. Hope you enjoy. Bye.